You want to buy a project car? Do you want to buy a really fast, awesome C63 or an AMG? That's going to be a lot better than to go buy a C230 or whatever they are now and wow. make it an AMG. How many hours are you going to put into developing this and designing this machine that you could have been working making money? I could build that for under $1,000 in my garage. That's what I see every time I see that comment. And it's sort of true. No, it's not. But absolutely misinformed. So at Vision Miner, we specialize in high temperature 3D printers that print materials like Peak and Ultim. And these extrude at 400, 450 Celsius, and they need a heated chamber at least 90 Celsius, preferably 230 Celsius, to get full mechanical strength and everything else like that. Now, when we release printers for seven or eight thousand dollars, or fifteen or twenty thousand dollars, or eighty thousand dollars, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, we get comments from people that are like, "This is bull. We could just build this. I can make this out of aluminum, aluminum extrusion inside in my garage." No, you can't. Yes, you can build a box that gets up to temperature and has all these specs and matches it for a couple thousand dollars and a lot of your own time. The thing is, there's a lot of things about these machines that people don't realize. Problems that come up when you're printing high temperature that you don't expect, that there's just no reference table for and you, you don't see it coming and it happens. For example, if you take an Ender 3, upgrade all the specs, you got a 200C build plate, you got a 500C nozzle and you built an enclosure with a heater in it and you're heating it up to 100C in that enclosure after probably less than a day, the printer is going to go completely out of spec because that aluminum extrusion is going to expand and everything's going to move around. You're going to have to calibrate every freaking 10 minutes. Uh, every time you cool it, you know, heat it up and cool it down. So there's a lot of parts that fail inside these temperatures. Once you get over 60 Celsius, even lower than that with a lot of machines, you start to see a lot of problems, a lot of things happening, parts going bad, parts failing prematurely, bearings going out, or belts, you know, just, just getting loose. All kinds of things that happen that you don't expect. Now, could you build a printer to that spec? Yes, you could. Can you buy a printer for that amount and get it and take it out of the box and start printing that day producing high level, high temperature material parts? No. So that's the thing. We sell our machines and everything to businesses, not to consumers. Yeah, dude, go have a great time. I encourage it. Build an awesome machine. Build a really high temp printer in your garage and have fun with it. Do some crazy cool stuff. Fine, I'll do it myself. But that's not the point. We're selling systems to businesses that are making money and they want to get out the gate immediately making money. So they're going to buy one, two, five, 10, 20, 100 machines. They're going to put them in their shop and they're going to start producing parts that are getting them a 10x ROI right out the gate. We're talking parts for 800, 3,000, $10,000 because the materials are so specialized. If you have the engineers and the time to spend several months building machine, um, hopefully it's reliable and you could do that. But when you can just spend 50 grand and get five machines in that'll do the exact same thing and start making money right then, that's what matters. And to be able to call somebody up and say, hey, it's doing this, it's going wrong and get an answer right then or a replacement part or just a solution, that's invaluable because you're not guessing and checking and doing all this stuff. We're 100% USB based and we're real people answering the phone. When you build your own machine, you're on your own and the forums and Google and the internet and your own knowledge. So it's a completely different situation. It's a completely different business case. Yes, you can build it, but if you're a business, that doesn't make any sense. Go for it. Nope, not touching this. Is that pretty good? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of people I get hot around the edges with this. My favorite customer is the customer that did build one. And there's a lot of them and they're fascinating and they're usually ex-engineers and they built it at home. And why are they calling us? Why, Rob? They're calling us to buy a 22. They're like, I can't put any more time and money into this. It just doesn't make sense anymore. I have a lot of respect for the people I see on forums that are hand making their own copper heat sinks and they're turning Prusas into high temp machines and they do it. And then you're still discovering and figuring out you can't just make a chamber hot. We had to use all like materials so they expand at the same time. So they the expand rate, at the, the same, same rate and, say, and we'll look out for their densities and how thickly they were CNC'd so that it wouldn't take a much longer time because that has to be taken into account. Belt width, type, speed, cooling of electronics. the electronics outside of the chamber. You can do it. Your machine's gonna be a bear. Rob said it, if you can do it, not only do I support you, share it with us. 
I love to show off people's home-built high temp machines. It's awesome. If you're new to 3D-ish, to 3D, if you're not an engineer, you probably can do it. But from someone who has five machines at home in pieces and many other machines that work just fine, I regret modding them because if I knew what I know now, I would have bought a FunMat HT four years ago and have been done with it. Well, I had to make all those mistakes and do all those things so that I could do what I did to our machine and have that knowledge and expertise. But my God, if you can spend the extra money, do that for the sake of your family, for the sake of your Emotions. social life, yeah. for the sake of- <laughs> Physical health. Physical health, just, it doesn't have to be our machine, but just buy a high temp machine that was designed for it. And it really should be our machine because I know what I'm talking about. And I put my blood, sweat and tears into it and wait until you see the next iteration of the 22, very, very shortly. This is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna, I'm gonna act it out for you. You're gonna be watching the video and you're gonna be like, oh man, that guy did know what he was talking about. Yeah, I'm very proud of it. I'm excited for it, but. Super stoked. Can't if you can build, it would be a hobby. One of those hobbies that people engineer hobbies to build these machines. But my God, don't try to make money with it. I, I'm afraid people won't trust me because I work here. I lost, time and sleep to fix these problems so you don't have to. And to clarify, if you're in business and you want to start making money, if it's, this oh, is your hobby and you love doing it, again, go for it, go please. for it. And share it with us, that. send us an email. I'd send love to have video. an Instagram we'll post you. of like the top 10 home builds. Oh, that'd be sick. So that'd people awesome. do it, we know, but I'm just telling you from experience since the beginning of this, the high temp industry, just spend the extra money. You wanna buy a project car? Do you wanna buy a really fast, awesome? Aston Martin. Get, yeah, get a, get, a, get a C63 or an AMG, whatever. That's gonna be a lot better than to go buy a C230 or whatever they are now. Unless you're And off. make it an AMG. How many hours are you gonna put into developing this and designing this machine that you could have been working making money? All of you young children who have enders and want to build one because you can't afford a high temp printer, build it. Destroy your machines like I did so many times because I friggin' love it. You should see my house. Maybe we'll do a walkthrough one day. <laughs> That'd be good. Um, if you are trying to make money, please don't do it. Just buy a machine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to work. Basically. That's what it comes down to. Anyway, so uh, like seriously, I'm interested now. Send us your high temp printers. I, I'll literally do a video and be like, look how, okay, cool, awesome, fantastic. What do you guys think of the, remember a couple years ago they released blueprints for a high temp printer? They a build it yourself high temp printer? Yeah. This is, this is actually fascinating. So I just released in 2019, a design for a high temperature 3D printer, just the design, probably the build list of materials and whatnot. You gotta find the electronic components yourself. Looks like there's a bunch of bent sheet steel and other stuff. It looks really cool. Let's get one, I'll build it this on is, stream. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Fascinating, I wonder how high temp it is. Anyway, if you got any questions or comments, we'd love to hear them. Let us know what you think. Be honest down in the comments below. But other than that, subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a positive rest of your day. I'm still thinking about building printers. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video.